Hello everybody, this is Miko from Cyber Programmers and today we're gonna be talking about Linux servers. So if you wanna become a system administrator then you should know how to install Linux servers on computers. So on this tutorial we first things first we're gonna learn how to install a Linux operating system then we're going to install the LAMP stack on it, which includes an Apache server, PHP, PHP MyAdmin, MySQL or MariaDB. For this tutorial, I'm going to install the Debian. Why Debian? Because it's an open source. And I also will install it on a virtual box. So if you have an old computer at your home, you can try to install a Linux server on your old computer later but for now we're gonna install it on a virtual box first of all we need to download the Debian installation file for that you need to go to debian.org website and then when you get this screen you need to go and click on getting Debian then uh, and for this tutorial I will download the 32 bit version if you want a 64 then you can go ahead and download 64 bit so i already have downloaded the installation file of debian on my computer so we can start go ahead and open up a virtual box then we're gonna create a new virtual machine click on new button then enter a name for your virtual machine i'm just gonna for example type in debian server then and there you need to select a version it can be 64 if you have downloaded the 64 version but for now i will select a free hit to a bit and click on next there you need to select an amount of ram for your virtual machine i will set it up to one gigabyte then click on next click on create next next there you need to set the size of your hard disk for your virtual machine i will set it up to 25 gigabyte then click on create now go ahead and open up the settings make sure all settings are set to same as mine uh, i'm gonna disable the floppy drive here okay we're done so we can go ahead and press on start button okay there we need to select that installation file for debian then press on start now we gonna select a simple installation now you need to choose the language of your system of course i'm gonna choose in english then go ahead and select your country okay select the united states here and i'm gonna select american english okay now we need to enter a host name for our machine and hit enter i will skip this now we need to enter a password for super user for root and repeat the same password okay now we need to create a user enter a full name of user then set the username for our account and now we need to set a password for user Simply select the first one, enter, all files, finish, and yes.
Okay, there we need to select the mirror for downloading updates. It's better to choose a Nairobi country or your country if it's not in the list and select the Nairobi country. So I'm gonna select uh, Russian Federation from the list and hit enter. So it will give you a list of mirrors from country you have selected and I recommend to choose a mirror which is which includes debian.org and hit enter I'm gonna skip this there it will ask you to complete the survey if you want but I'm gonna say no and this is a important moment you need to choose the components you want to install on your Linux machine I'm gonna select a web server. Okay, you need to use a space on your keyboard to select and deselect the items. I'm gonna select a web server, a print server, SSA server, and uh, of course, this is important system utilities. And uh, yeah, we're gonna install a desktop environment too. I will choose a Debian desktop environment, hit tab and press continue. It can take a long time, so I'm gonna speed up this process and back when it's done. The installation process is finished successfully and now it's asking us to install a group bootloader. I'm gonna select yes and in next tab it will ask us to select the device where we want to install the group bootloader. I'm gonna select my only one device and hit enter. At last we need to select continue and hit enter. The Debian is now installed and we have the first step done. So for now let's just log into our user account, uh, enter a password you have created it at installation time and press and sign in and now we need to install a LAMP stack first is an Apache server go ahead and uh, open terminal if it's not in this list open uh, all applications and uh, you can scroll down and see the terminal can open it up now we need to type in su which means we now uh, will execute the commands in this terminal as a root account and the password you have created on installation time we are now logged in as a root let me just go to home directory okay now we need to type in apt get and install apache2 hit enter okay the apache server is installed successfully and now let's check if it's work for that go and open up the browser and type in local host so if you see the screen it means you have installed the Apache server and it's working very well. So now we can close the browser. And now I will show how to install the MySQL. For that you, we need to enter next command apt-get install mysql server space mysql dash client and hit enter uh, press y and hit enter here you need to enter the password of root user for mysql now we need to re-enter the password now let's check if mysql is working so type in system ctl uh, status mysql 
and when there we can see that it's active and running which means the mascal is working so if you want to install a MariaDB instead of MySQL, you need to execute the next command apt-get install MariaDB-server and hit enter. Now the next step is how to install a PHP. All we need to do is enter the next command apt-get install PHP5 space php5 dash mysql lib package oops sorry lib patchy 2 dash mod dash php5 and hit enter now let's check if php is working properly on our debian so for that we need to go to cd or w HTML and here I'm gonna remove index.php index.html file and now I'm gonna create an index.php file nano index.php and here I'm gonna add a simple PHP code And save it okay now go ahead and open up the browser type in localhost and if you see the screen which says the PHP version and some instruction and details about PHP it means that PHP is working on your Debian so the last thing is install a php my admin uh, which is really easy we need to type in apt dash get install php my admin and hit enter so i have skipped the installation process it's pretty easy it uh, will ask you for the password of root simply enter password and uh, select the Apache 2 server with space key, uh, key on your keyboard and hit enter and uh, it will ask you if you want to configure database for phpMyAdmin with dbconfig simply select yes and you're done now let's open the phpMyAdmin and see if it's working I'm gonna open up the browser Type in localhost and php my admin slash php my admin hit enter. If you see this screen, it means that php my admin is working. And you need to enter here root the password is what you set it up at installation time and press on go. And we can see it's working fine but it can happen that you uh, type in uh, localhost slash phpMyAdmin but you can see the phpMyAdmin screen so it's pretty simple you need to do next nano slash here to see patchy patch okay and hit enter now you need to go to very end of this file and here we need to add a new line include here to see php my oops php my admin patchy dot conf now i'm gonna save this okay we're gonna Restart the Apache server. Okay, now open up the browser. Type in localhost slash phpMyAdmin. 
and you can see that it's working so that's it guys i hope you found this video useful so do not forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and stay tuned i will post next time how to install a lamp which includes an engine server instead of apache so see you next time